Friendly hello, hi everyone. My name is Monday, and welcome back to Being One. This is episode three, Dark Matter. It says we escaped from the aliens level, made our way to the vampire level. Need to figure out what they've done to me. Bits and pieces of memory are coming back. I must continue to make my escape. Okay, keypad hacking unit. Ooh. Need three fuses. Well, I can see them. There's one. There's one, and there's one. Yeah. Uh, I have a multi-tool, right? Yeah. Let's knock those off of there. Fuses go here. We have a green fuse for the green one, a red fuse for the red one, and a blue fuse for the blue one. Woo! Now what? Can I go in here now? Ah! The keypad hacking unit allows you to break the codes and doors. You get three attempts to try, then you have to try again. The code doesn't change, so eventually you'll break it. Just keep trying. It needs power. It needs power. More bloody vents. Ah! There we go. Oh, this is fun. Aha! I got it! The power of guessing is complete. Power is activated. Okay. Keypad hacker. Well, the best thing to do with one of these is to start at five and go, like, either up or down, so... Okay, so it's... Six, six, six. Higher. Eight. Nine. Okay, so six, 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 nine, five, lower, one, higher. Aha! Activate! Yeah! That was fairly simple, actually. Of course, elevator rides are never easy. I have a multi tool! Let's rip this panel off the wall, see what it's got hidden. Oh, fun. One of these. That was simple, <laughs> actually. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. Elevator shop. Lycanthropy. Okay. Climb up ladder. Oh boy, what's the next one? Dinosaur! What is this, Jurassic Park? Okay, then. Undead, we've already been there. Botanical, that's at least somewhat normal. Oh, dark matter. Yep, because that's a good place to go. Data pad! Pressure powered door. The door to the service elevator will be reset in the event of a power cut. Should this ever happen, very unlikely, you will need to initialize the pistons. Second, you'll need to stabilize the pressure on the panel next to the door before the door can be activated via the computer. I doubt you'll ever have to do this as Dr. Rycroft has backup systems for everything. Main exit. Useless switch. Hack the door keypad. Sure. I don't know one of these. Okay. Lower. Three. One. Okay, so starts with a one. One, nine, two, eight. Oh, one, nine, two, eight, five. Cool. I'll get the computer online and take a look at some of Dr. Rycroft's files. I think you'll be surprised, not in a good way. Oh, it says that Dr. Rycroft is the one that's talking to me. Huh. A mug. X ray. Subject is very similar bone structure to a human, but it's different in many subtle ways, not to mention the obvious extra strength and reduced weight. It has extra bones in places that we don't. More research is needed. I don't see extra bones. Fire extinguisher. Battery backup. Yeah. Click. Yup. Yes. Is there a fire emergency or airborne toxic event? Yeah, sure. Oh, wait, okay. Want to proceed? No. Do I have authoriz authorization? Yes. Activate it. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. Dark matter. Dark matter is an anomaly. It is thought to make up a large percentage of the known universe, yet it cannot be detected by its radiation. It can only be observed by its gravitational effects upon matter. An unknown force, dark energy that does not interact with atoms in the usual way, although it does have an influence over them. I've created a small portion of observable dark matter in my lab by binding certain chemical elements in a top secret process to each dark matter particle, and this allows me to observe it for a short time. So far, we've only seen very minute amounts, but the data we record in this short amount of time is substantial to say the least. Several days ago, we observed a face, or at least my imagination formed a face from the swirling vortex of dark matter. You done fucked up. Being one. <gasps> this is me. I'm apparently being one. I have a theory about the being that recently came into my possession. It is the first ever. It is far superior to us in every way. <laughs> I know, don't flatter me. 
and yet it shares so much DNA, etc. with us, it has to be a part of us in some way. The obvious theory is that he came from elsewhere, another world, for example, or as the religious nuts would have us believe he was created and he walked amongst our race because he had no other choice. A perfect outcast. He cannot be destroyed, it seems. No matter what you do to him, he seems to gather atoms from around him and reform or regenerate in some way. In this way, he's always lived amongst us, never aging, mating with our females, possibly as far back as the cavemen who took an extraordinary evolutionary leap possibly due to him. But it's just a theory for now. I'm fucking awesome. Research on me. The reason I arrived at the theory of him being here for eons is through meticulous research. I've been tracking him and others like him for many years now, but I never expected to find him. I have detailed files showing links throughout the ages, stories of a man who was different, a leader yet unlike any other before him. This man seemed to possess powers beyond the realm of the normal. But we now know he's simply scientifically and technologically gifted. These things we take for granted today would have seemed like witchcraft in days gone by, and it is him that has given us this, these advances. I have stories of a man who was the lone survivor of a plane crash, a man who fell from a tall building and simply walked away, a man who was heroic in many of our world wars, a man who seems to be indestructible. For this reason, I kept him here and allowed him to fully recover, and I intend to probe him for his secrets in every way possible. He could save millions simply by submitting to our research. Satellite image one. Ooh, that's pretty. The base is situated on an asteroid orbiting Earth over left over from the moon impact of 2020. We are in geosynchrosis orbit and unaffected by Earth weather and gravity restraints, although we do have gravity generators installed. We are, however, affected by the cosmic rays emanating from the sun. The e effects are ne negligible, though. The base is ideal to research various creatures and the phenomenon without having to wade through Earth's pathetic bureaucracy. Okay. Ooh, base layout. Okay. Um... Paranormal research, specimens, gravitational. There's a starport up there. Restricted area, restricted area, storages. Living quarters. I can get out of here. Awesome. Activate door. Door not activated. You need to initialize the pistons. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, back I go. Hack the door keypad. Ah! Got it! I like that part of it. Initiate piston one. Initialize pressure. Aha! Got it! Woo! -hoo. And piston three. Oh boy, 560. Aha! Got it! And piston four, 180. There we go. I got it! Oh wait, there was a data pad in there. Right there. Piston servicing schedule. The pistons need servicing regularly, i.e. weekly, must be shut off to do so. After they've been shut down in service, you must reinitialize them to get them started at the correct pressure with the correct timing, as they could quite easily build up pressure to the catastrophic proportions and blow this place sky high, if we were on Earth, that is. All due care must be taken when resetting the system. Activate the door. Oh, stabilize door pressure. Okay. How do I do that? Right there. There we go. Now I can open the door. Into the elevator I go. I'll go through the doors. Damage bar. Ooh, data pad. Weird happenings. There's been a lot of weird stuff going on around here lately. I just move things from A to B, but I've noticed some weird things, like seismic activity, a strange buzzing in my ears, and other unexplainable things. It sometimes seems like the walls are moving inwards, like warping, but I guess I should get my eyes checked. It has been 20 years. Oh, make your way through the storage levels and up to the starport so we can get you the hell out of here. I shall. Oh boy, I never like long hallways. Dr. Rycroft had thousands of specimens from all races, creatures, myths, and legend. There is no end to his evil. Storage vats. We keep hundreds of vats in here and store them until Dr. Rycroft requests them. It is an easy job and paid well as long as I keep my mouth shut. The latest specimen is apparently something special. Word is it's the second coming. Well, that's what the religious types are saying. I delivered the body, if you could call it that, to Dr. Rycroft myself. There was not a lot left of it, so I don't see how it could be anything special, really. Oh, God. Some of them are human-ish. wonder if they're even alive. Oh, God. I hate long, dark hallways. More vats! Do you see why now why we have to get you out and blow this place to the stars? We have been looking for you for a very long time. Who are... Who is we? Maintenance. The vats require constant maintenance, and I'm here to make sure that happens. Some of the technicians around here being pretty useless, to be honest. Always whispering about being one. What the hell is that supposed to mean anyhow? I know we have some pretty weird creatures here, but to have the first ever being? Ever? It seems a little far out to me. 
I talk about Dr. Rycroft's dark matter experiments and how light affects the things they're creating in an extremely negative way. I'm just glad we never have power cuts around here. Last thing I want to bump into in the dark is some beast made of dark matter. So use light to kill whatever it is. Oh god, this is so weird. <gasps> nope, spotlights, spotlights. Die. Just disintegrate that bastard. Oh god. Nope. Thank god there were spotlights there. Yeah, move onwards. Ugh. Okay. That was <laughs> episode 3 of being one. God, those rooms, the long dark hallway with all the bats, and I knew there was something at the end of it. There's always something at the end of a long dark hallway, and it's never good. So this has been episode 3 of Being One. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, don't forget to click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And I will see you, lovely marshmallows, in the next one. Bye!